What is up, y'all? Welcome back. All right, audio works again. Welcome back to. Hang on, got the right sound back in. That was like that was like a mix of both. Anyways, whatever. Um, the important thing is we're back. Welcome back to the MG Truck Series here on Fox Sports One. We are at Bristol, but not ordinary Bristol. We are on the dirt today, baby. We. Got some trucks and trucks and trucks and pounded in or piled in some dirt for a dirt race here on the high banks at Bristol. Green flag is in the air. We're racing on the Bristol dirt. Already that top side seems to be the lane to be in as Chad Chapin, uh, underdog driver, pulled out to the race lead. But here comes Matt Crafton on the high side. Three wide for the race lead, heading down into one and two. Crafting up high, chaffing down low. The 13 of Shelby Howard on the inside as well. The caution is out already. Looks like Rick Crawford caught up in some drama back there. Let's go back and see what it was. To bring out the first caution of the day. He's not the only one. See what happened here. Oh, the 31 turned down the racetrack, back up the track, and into the path of Hornaday and Crawford. Hornaday and Crawford didn't have the greatest qualifying runs here on the dirt. Started in the back, and unfortunately, that's one of the issues that comes with starting in the back. Things like this are all right in front of you. Sometimes you have nowhere to go. Contact right here with Brian Sockwell, but luckily he saves it. Green flag back in the air. We're racing once again. And wrecking again. The 37, another one involved. They're coming back up the racetrack. Another stack up caution is out. David Starr in it yet again. Second incident of the race for that 11 truck. See what happened here. He got into the back of the 29. The 29 came back up into him and he had nowhere to go. Full head of steam. You can't really get these things stopped on the dirt quite like you can on the asphalt. And concrete here at Bristol. So... Yeah, not good for the 22, the 11, the 31, the 29 up into the wall. A couple other trucks almost got the outside wall. Lots of underdogs out in front. Looking at Chad Chaffin and Matt Crafton racing for the lead. Chaffin got sideways. Crafton took the lead on the race back. Green flag back in the air. Crafton spun the tires down low. Here comes his teammate Shelby Howard to the point. Howard trying to take the race, the race lead. Here comes Eric Darnell looking for yet another career win in the trucks. And look at Sean Murphy in the 07 truck. Where did he come from? Oh, contact. Landon Castle into the inside wall. Can he rejoin safely? Yes, he does. Back up the racetrack. Four wide. Tight squeeze. Lot more contact being made. Castle saves it again. They're squeezing together. Caution is out. They're wrecking further back. Man, such craziness going on here. Who brought it out this time? Rick Crawford though down on a pit road having an issue. He's going to be out of the race. Got a, quite a few trucks out of the race already here. But who what brought out the caution? Oh, it was the 4 truck and the 03 and the 18, a bunch of trucks actually getting together and further up into the outside wall went the bunch on the outside. Brian Stockwell, Timothy Peters, Chrissy Wallace drives away. Gosh, that's what brought out our third caution of the race. So we're about to go green yet again. We're going single file now. Green flag back out in the air. We're racing yet again. Look at the run the 13 truck got as he 
jumped the cushion a little bit, but was able to find some grip on corner exit and carry that momentum. Eric Darnell running second, doing everything he can to run down that 13 truck. Halbert trying it again, said it worked last time. Let me try it again. But remember these dirt tracks, they can change every single lap. These guys running on the edge here as the 13 got a little loose, the 99 closed in. Here comes the 88 of Crafton further back. They're going side by side. The 07 way up higher on the racetrack, right up against the cushion, trying to make up some time, make up some ground. Here's Andy Lally, a road racer. Never really did any dirt racing growing up, but here he is. On the high bank banks at Bristol, trying to learn. Three wide up top is the 30 of Todd Bodine. Getting a great run off of turn number two. He's gonna clear both of those trucks. How about the 99? Nine, trying the same line as that 13 truck to see if he can make some hay up there. These race car drivers, man. The things they'll do to find speed. You could tell everybody that you can only run four of a lug nuts instead of five, and you'll run a tenth faster, and everybody will start doing that. Like, you can tell them anything. You could say, eating a whole lot of food before the race. Will gain some weight, make you heavier, have the car lower to the ground, and they would do it. And as you see, the 99, and these, this is just make, made up stuff, by the way, don't take anything I just said seriously, but the 99 moved up the racetrack when he saw what the 13 was doing, made it work for himself. Now he's right on his back bumper, looking to the inside. It's Eric Darnell for the race lead, side by side with the 13 of Shelby Howard. Howard goes way up the racetrack, he's going to clear him, and the caution is out yet again. Who done it? Oh, we got a wreck at turn one. David, or excuse me, Brendan Gone involved in this one. Shelby Howard's going to lead back to the caution flag. Let's see what happened. Val Wolf got into that 10 truck. She loves short track racing, but I don't think she's done any dirt racing growing up. She's been more into the drag racing side of things, as well as watching NASCAR every weekend, so... Definitely uh, not her style, a different style of racing completely for her. And just made a mistake, misjudged it slightly, you know, visibility, yeah, visibility an issue. As you see all the dust, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe the sunlight reflecting through the dust or something, but it seems really hard to see. Luckily tomorrow's race will be at night. We'll see if that makes any difference whatsoever, but it's very hard to see through this right now. So drivers saying visibility is an issue. And since we had a pretty lengthy green flag run there, we're gonna go back double file here. Let's see what happens. Can these drivers handle yet another double file restart? We're gonna try it again here. Green flag back in the air. Eric Darnell with the jump on Shelby Howard. Here comes the nine of Justin Marks to the inside. Marks taking him three wide. Darnell rolls the top, takes the race lead down the back straightaway. Here comes the 30 of Todd Bodine as well. Bodine way up the racetrack. Crafton even higher up on the track for a little bit there. Both got a huge run off of turn number four. Crafton had the lift. It seems like he's pushing him down the front straightaway just a little bit. Slight bump draft. Now heading down into turns three and four yet again. Darnell. Has the 30 all over his back bumper. Crafton all over the 30s rear bumper. Shelby Howard doing everything he can down low. Trying to build that momentum. Hoping for a mistake from that 99 truck. To get up there and try and pull a slider and retake the lead. Down the back straightaway yet again. Here comes the 30 and the 88. Way up high on the track. Goes to 30 yet again. He's going to get another run off of turn number four. Closes the gap. 
back to the rear bumper of that 99 truck. Now the 99 is going to try running a little bit higher. These guys jump in the cushion a little bit, but it's actually helping them run faster. Here comes the 30 and the 88. The 30 got up there, made it work. Big run down to the inside. The 99 knew what he was going to do. Went to defend the high side. Now the 30 stuck low. Here comes the 88 of Crafton. Two is outside. Howard trying to figure out where to go to the rear bumper of that 30 truck. Boot scooting boogie right here through three and four. Contact to the rear bumper. And now here comes Crafton diving low, trying to get underneath Eric Darnell for the race lead. Darnell knows where to put that truck to defend the lead here. Mind you, none of these guys are really dirt racers as the caution is out yet again. None of these guys are really dirt racers, so this is very interesting to see them learning and trying new things here. As the caution comes out yet again, it's a shame Tyler Walker isn't still in the series. He would have definitely had some fun here in these trucks. And it's the 18 of Dennis Setzer blowing up. That brings out the next caution. So we're going to have to put some speedy dry down and see if uh, how quickly that clears up on this next restart. It'll be... A little less than 15 to go on this restart as we're racing yet again. Crafton pulls out to the lead. Looks like restarting on the outside is better than restarting on the inside for these guys. The 13 of Lynch, or excuse me, of Howard with the run off of turn four. Had a run on his teammate but didn't go anywhere with it. Couldn't go anywhere with it rather. But now has another one. Down to back straight away. He's going to get to the rear bumper. Push him out in front of the 99. Darnell with a great launch in the 3 and 4. Lots of grip on the bottom. Got that truck tightened up or, or, or gripped up or whatever on the inside. Enough as, he, uh, as much as he needed to to make that thing stick. But the 88 and the 13 just too fast up high. And look at the dust from them running right up against the cushion. The 9, the nine truck, excuse me of Justin Mark sees what they're doing in front of him. He's gonna try it now. Crafton almost opened the door down low, trying to block the 99. Here comes Crafton back up to the high side. Justin Marks with a great run through one and two. He's gonna pull to the outside of the 99 truck. Teammates now racing for second. Here comes Darnell launching it back to the inside. Can't quite get there. Actually, he does get there. Crafton didn't get a great exit, has a 13 pushing him down the front straightaway. Three wide now for the race lead. The 13 of Lynch right there underneath his teammate almost got together. They both clear Eric Darnell by a long shot. Darnell falling back trying to battle for third now. Here comes Lynch, here comes Crafton off of turn number four. What a battle for the lead we're seeing here. Crafton moves down the racetrack trying to block the 99. Look at his teammate on the high side squeezing into a hole that wasn't really there. Created a gap. Saw a gap, just the slightest gap, and went for it. Talk about that, that quote from Aaron Senna. If you no longer go for a gap that exists, you are no longer a race car driver. Shelby Howard is a race car driver, y'all. We're going to have to look at that. If he wins this race, that'll be the move of the race right there. But Crafton not giving it up quite yet. He had a great run off of turn number four. Can he do it again through one and two? He might have a chance to fight back. He was too concerned. Oh, caution is out. He was too worried about protecting the lead from that 99 truck. He forgot about his teammate. Takes a lower line. His teammate goes way up. Jumps the cushion a little bit, but found a ton of grip. Almost got into the outside wall. We're going to go on board with that 88 truck and see what he saw. We don't have a camera on that 13, unfortunately. But here it is. Ooh, excuse me. Here it is from the rear bumper. They slide up. Oh, man. And now we magically have a camera on that 13 because I want to see this. Look at this. Shelby Howard. Never lifted. Squeezes between Crafton's truck and the wall. Bouncing off the wall a little bit, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to watch it from this angle now. Talk about aggression. Watch this. 
Howard. The 88 truck sliding up the track. Oh, he was about to spin out. Used the wall to keep himself straight. And then just blew past the 99 and the 88. Both those trucks had to lift out of the gas big time there. They were trying not to wreck. They couldn't carry that momentum off the corner. Man, contact with all three of these trucks getting together just about. What a move for Shelby Howard to get back out in front of, of this race. And we're going to have a late race restart. Two laps to go. Green, white, checkers. Here we go. Crafton with a huge jump to retake the lead. Off into one and two. Here comes Justin Marks. Don't forget about Marks. He's been working that high side pretty well throughout the race. He might have something to say. Here comes Howard back on the low side. Crafton moving down to the bend. Gets loose off of turn four. White flag in the air. One lap to go from Bristol. Crafton trying to use that cushion to his advantage. Final time around this racetrack. Coming through three and four. Here comes Howard with a run. Crafton gets loose at the stripe. It's gonna be Shelby Howard. Shelby Howard pulled it off. Shelby Howard. According to scoring, we're gonna have to go back and take a look. But I think Shelby Howard might have snuck in there and taken this race away from his teammate. Watch how close it is at the line. That's Howard. That's Shelby Howard. Oh my goodness. I thought Crafton had the preferred line. Gets a little loose. Tries to defend. Couldn't quite get down there. Couldn't get the power off on exit. And look at that at the stripe. By a nose. Shelby Howard wins it over his teammate. I cannot believe what I just saw. Matt Crafton had a huge lead in the 3 and 4. Howard just dove it off in there. Huge run. Gets his nose underneath that 88 truck. Gets the power down. Better than the 88. And at the stripe. My goodness. What a finish. Oh my lord. That was a close one off turn number 4. But that is going to do it. Man, oh man, I hope y'all enjoyed that one. What a race. I hope that's a good sign for things to come tomorrow in the cup race tomorrow night. That is going to do it, though. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe. Hope to see y'all next time. And until then, peace. Oh, man. How about that? <laughs>